Hello everyone, you're watching the channel Incredible Facts. There are special vehicles and robots that are able to determine the level of chemical and radiation pollution. Thanks to the availability of the necessary equipment, they are able to determine the degree of contamination of soil, water, and food, as well as to take samples and conduct research. Today, we'll show you the 10 most amazing vehicles and robots for radiation and chemical reconnaissance. RTK-8 the RTK-8 is a radiation intelligence robot. The new robot is able to function in the zone of radiation contamination both in the autonomous mode, according to the program pre-programmed in it, and under the remote control of the operator. The complex is a six-wheeled all-terrain vehicle weighing about 595 pounds. It is reported that a multi-joint manipulator capable of lifting weights up to 22 pounds is installed over the front pair of wheels of the complex. The robot is equipped with a telegrammaster, allowing you to see the location of radiation sources directly on the screen of the control panel using special sensors that record the location of radiation sources and determine their strength. BRDM 2RHB the BRDM-2RHB Soviet Reconnaissance Chemical Vehicle, created on the basis of the BRDM-2, the vehicle is designed to operate as part of reconnaissance units of the ground forces and carries out chemical, radiation, biological, and special reconnaissance of the terrain. Thanks to the presence of special equipment, the vehicle is able to determine the degree of contamination of soil, water, and food, as well as to take samples and conduct research on the nature of biological, chemical, radiation damage to the area, and report the results via radio communication channels. The BRDM-2RHB has a welded armored hull. It is completely sealed and protects the crew from bullets and shrapnel. The fighting compartment is completely sealed and protected from gamma radiation. RHM-5 The RHM-5 was unveiled in December 2011 by the Russian Army. The vehicle is designed to be used as nuclear, biological, and chemical reconnaissance armored vehicle for the airborne troops. The RHM-5 is a sophisticated instrument complex mounted on the chassis of the Russian Airborne Armored Fighting Vehicle BMD-3. The vehicle has the ability to provide radiation, chemical, and biological intelligence in complex topography in all weather and night conditions. It is equipped with the latest technology systems as different type of nuclear, bacteriologic, and chemical device detectors, as well as navigation systems for collecting, processing, and transmission by radio or in a global military network. The crew can send information and safety condition against the effects of weapons of mass destruction on the battlefield. PARS 6x6 CBRN The new PARS 6x6 Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear CBRN reconnaissance vehicle from Turkish firm FNSS is based on the PARS 6x6 Wheeled Armored Combat Vehicle platform. The PARS reconnaissance vehicle with standoff detection capability is intended for the identification and detection of chemical warfare agents and toxic industrial materials. It can also be deployed for the detection and identification of biological agents, radiological and nuclear detection, as well as for manual sampling and marking of contaminated area. The vehicle accommodates up to four personnel, including driver, commander, and two operators. An additional seat is fitted to facilitate increased operational capability during chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear reconnaissance missions. The vehicle features a standoff detection system, which uses laser technology for the detection of chemical objects within a distance of three miles. RHM-8 The RHM-8 is a Russian chemical, biological, radiation, and nuclear reconnaissance vehicle equipped with equipment able to detect nuclear radiation, chemical, and biological agents, and transfer data via control and communication systems to command post. 
The vehicle provides local detection of toxic chemical agents in the battlefield and on military equipment. It can collect samples of contaminated areas by nuclear radiation, chemical and biological agents, and deliver information to specialized laboratories. All the detection equipment is mounted on the roof of the vehicle. The RHM-8 can perform CBRN reconnaissance missions at a speed from 12 to 30 miles per hour in road conditions and from 3 to 12 miles per hour in all-terrain conditions. Autocar Cobra The Cobra is a family of armored vehicles produced by Autocar of Turkey. It is produced in two generations. The monocoque steel V-hull provides protection against small arms fire, artillery shell shrapnel, and to a certain degree against anti-personnel and tank mines and IEDs. The Cobra vehicle forms a common platform which can be adapted for various roles and mission requirements including armored personnel carrier, anti-tank vehicle, reconnaissance vehicle, ground surveillance radar vehicle, forward observation vehicle, armored ambulance, or armored command post. Also, the vehicle is equipped with systems for radiation, chemical, and biological reconnaissance. Folks. The Folks is a German armored personnel carrier originally developed by Daimler-Benz, but manufactured and further developed by the now Rheinmetall Mann military vehicles. The Folks was the second wheeled armored vehicle to enter service with the Bundeswehr, and it can be used for tasks including troop transport, engineer transport, bomb disposal, nuclear, biological, and chemical reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. RMMV and its predecessors manufactured 1,236 Folks, mostly for the German army. The welded steel hull of the Folks was designed to protect the crew from armor-piercing small arms fire and shell splinters. The armament carried by the Folks varies according to the role and user nation. Most carrier versions are limited to a single 7.62mm machine gun, but other models may have various 12.7mm machine gun or 20mm cannon installations in small turrets of external weapon stations. M1135 Stryker The U.S. Army Nuclear and Counter Weapons of Mass Destruction Agency conducted a series of tests at the Survivability, Vulnerability Assessment Directorate's Fast Burst Reactor Facility, bombarding an M1135 Stryker nuclear, biological, chemical reconnaissance vehicle with varying levels of ionizing radiation. The real purpose of the test is to evaluate a new methodology for calculating how well a vehicle will protect the crew from radiation using computer models. The Stryker was chosen for this test series because it's a vehicle that's most likely to see use during a nuclear event. Equipped with an array of sensors to evaluate nuclear, biological, and chemical threats, and equipped with a pressurized cabin to prevent the intrusion of dust, gas, and other outside material. It is equipped specifically to handle hazardous environments. Merlin The Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, which provides the science for UK defense and security, developed the prototype robot so that humans and machines could share the burden of detecting and reporting dangerous chemicals over large areas. Currently a single prototype, the Merlin robot operated continuously on tasks for several hours with ease. This allowed personnel to monitor and manage the test incident scene from a safe distance, away from potential harm. By the end of the trial, Merlin had successfully demonstrated autonomous operation in area recce tasks that were both clean and contaminated, and had performed tasks to find clean routes through contaminated areas. Throughout the trial, the embedded artificial intelligence was pushed to the limits of object and obstacle recognition, and successfully demonstrated its utility within a cluttered environment. PackBot The PackBot is a series of military robots by Endeavor Robotics, 
previously by iRobot. An international robotics company founded in 2016, created from iRobot, that previously produced military robots since 1990. The instance of the PacBot technology being implemented was due to the damaged Fukushima nuclear plant after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, where they were the first to assess the site. The robot was used on several reconnaissance missions at the power plant to remove debris and measure radiation readings. The PacBot 510 has a maximum speed of 5.8 miles per hour. The robot can traverse mud, rocks, stairs, and other surfaces due to its caterpillar track. The robot also has zero radius turn capability and can climb up to a 60 degree incline. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the vehicles and robots you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.